the early laps of the STLI 40 lapper featured some very close racing, when a chain reaction at the front of the pack led to a multi-car wreck. Oh, all of a sudden it develops a little bit of a caffeine twist. Trouble, front straight away, one car hard into the outside wall, nose first and others become collected. It's the 69 of Carey coming off his best run a week ago of second. Josh Carey took the biggest hit, but he climbed out of the car under his own power. Kyle Johnson has shown improvement in the street stocks during his sophomore year in the division, and it all came together last Friday as he dominated the feature, earning his first career street stock win. <laughs> Returning to the SK Lights, the 40 lapper featured another wreck off of turn four, where three wide racing went wrong, leading to Meg Fuller getting the worst of it. Oh, off the turn! Megan Fuller, right in front of Bob Charlan. How Charlan missed that, it's unbelievable as poor Megan hit at a ton. Despite the wild ride, Meg climbed out of the car and walked away. George Bissett Jr. had one more shot at Derek Debus for the 40 lap feature win, when things got a little too close off of turn two. Bissett a little out of shape. Oh, and they touch. They touch, it sets off a ripple effect. Bakai comes out of nowhere, and he's up to the third spot. Debus was able to hang on to the car and hang on to the win, his second consecutive 40-lap win. The late model finish came down to a green-white checker battle between Kevin Gambacorda and Michael Bennett. White flag, one lap to go. Dead even at the start finish line, 14 thousandths of a second. Gamba Corda ahead of Bennett as they have a half a lap to run for the race win. Tom Fern moves in. He is factor number three. Remember, we saw this kind of a week ago here at Stafford. Here comes Gamba Corda guarding the inside lane. Michael Bennett is on the outside. Here comes Tom Fern. It is Gamba Corda to take down the win. The win is Gamba Corda's second of 2021.